I want to talk with uh, Anselmo Canfora here. You are with the UVA School of Architecture. We uh, had you on Soundboard on Thursday morning a couple of months ago talking about the Breathe House in Haiti. Tell us, what, what is a Breathe House? So the Breathe House is a uh, very specific uh, model uh, for transitional disaster recovery housing uh, that was designed through uh, Initiative Recover, a research project that I founded and uh, direct currently. Uh, it was founded in 2007, and so we've been working on this chronic housing problem that people face post-disaster. Uh, our uh, latest uh, pr installation, if you will, uh, is the Breathe House in Haiti, uh, specifically St. Mark, for a community of folks uh, immediately outside of the town of St. Mark. And it's a project for the Fondacion Esther Busico Stanislas, a nonprofit organization in St. Mark who serves uh, people who have HIV AIDS. And so they're establishing this community. The Breathe House is, is one of the houses uh, that makes up this community. What, what got you interested or, or what inspired you to, to try and design this? Well, uh, I'm uh, very interested in bringing together proje projects that bring together students and um, uh, folks out in the humanitarian uh, or, uh, world and professionals who work on, on, on projects such as this. The Disaster Recovery House is one of a number of, uh, of projects that we've been doing through Initiative Recover at UVA's School of Architecture. Uh, we're currently working on projects in the Limpopo province of South Africa. Uh, we're working on a second primary school in the Wakizo district of Uganda. And uh, for me, these are critical lessons that our students uh, should come away with after an education here at the University of Virginia. And we, we try our best to involve students from multiple disciplines. So the School of Architecture, School of Engineering, um, uh, form the kind of core uh, team and partnership on these projects. And then we involve, as I mentioned, professional engineering firms, professional architects, uh, and uh, folks uh, who work with humanitarian aid organizations around the world to bring these projects uh, uh, to completion. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, transitional housing by its nature is going to have some design challenges, I suspect. What, what are some of the challenges with the Breathe House? Well, the challenges are to uh, design and, and fabricate and assemble a, a building that is going to be resilient, it's going to be um, of quality, uh, yet it has to be demountable. It has to be a, a, a literally a kit of parts that you can take uh, apart and redeploy. Uh, and so... That introduces a number of challenges when you look at connections and details uh, that uh, are uh, critical to keep uh, rain and water out, uh, rain and, and wind out of the of the building. So, uh, the Saint Mark uh, uh, project, the Breathe House, was installed in three days, and so there are advantages to this system that allow also the community uh, to uh, participate. So uh, we, uh, while in St. Mark, hired uh, six uh, Haitians who live in the area uh, who had no building experience uh, prior to the project to help assemble and, and uh, complete the house. So the challenges can be turned around and made into opportunities and the versatility of the structure is ultimately what, and the performance of the structure is ultimately what we strive to improve iteration to iteration to iteration. Mm -hmm. Is this a, a replicable model for, uh, for other transitional places? Uh, how's the, 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 the planning for replicability? Absolutely, I mean, that's, that's one of the, the, the sort of core principles of the design. That is, it, it is adaptable to different geographic locations around the world. As a matter of fact, the second prototype we are currently manufacturing with our partners in Southside Virginia through the Tobacco Commission grant uh, is going to be uh, assembled here in Charlottesville and tested for about a year at our Milton fabrication facility that we share with the School of Engineering. Uh, and that is a, a model, if you will, a series of, of uh, housing units that will be deployable in the Gulf Coast area of the United States. So that the notion of, a, of being able to adapt this, uh, everything from different types of cladding, materials, and so on, is, is an important aspect of the design. With uh, Hurricane Sandy, you think we can get that built by Monday? Uh, well, <laughs> the, <laughs> that's a tough question, Nathan. I think that uh, we certainly are, are making our way to having to being ready for uh, unfortunately events that that have a, a dire impact on folks. But uh, we're going to do our best. <laughs> and so looking for a professor in the School of Architecture here at UVA. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Nathan. Great.
<laughs> All right, Liz.